Okay, so let's talk a little bit about a specific command in Scorebase. And the command I want to talk about is this label command, and it's under Program Flow. So I'm going to swap over to the Help menu. And so depending on which level you're in, Introductory, Advanced, or Professional will depend where you see it. But you'll see that Label is in all three levels, right? So if we scroll down to where that is, sorry, okay, it's right here, LA is the shortcut. Right, and it marks a line in the program that is referenced by a jump command. So it opens this dialog box label, all right? And so you enter a name. So it's basically like giving a section a title, right? You can't use blank spaces. You can use an underscore. You can't give the same label twice, okay? So here's the other thing. So what do you use this to? You use it with a jump command. So let's go up and look back at the, or go over and look at the jump command. So here I'm in level two, you can see that I have jump two. So if I go to program flow, you'll see in the simplest I have just wait, jump to, and label. So let's think what that means. Jump to is a command that lets us jump to a label. All right, so if we go up, Here we can see the jump to command, all right? So the jump to is an unconditional. It's gonna, when it gets there, no matter what's happening, it's going to jump. It's not gonna check a condition first. It is unconditional. It's gonna happen no matter what. The command opens this dialog box and you'll see that jump is selected. Jump to, this box is where you type a label in. So you're going to type the name of the label there. You have to be sure to label a section that, all right? So when the jump command is used, all right, jump is checked, all right? You can modify the jump command to an if jump, conditional jumping, only in level two and pro, all right? So there's some difference in that command between the two. So I hope this helps you understand the use of jump to and label. So let's look at how we might use this. If I wanted to run a program and I just wanted to go over and over and over and over again, but I remember I may have, I told you in a previous video that we don't click run continuously. We click run single cycle. So I would start by putting a label in, and I can label this anything I want. I'm going to call it getting, and then I can't use a space, going, and hit OK. So you'll see that that has a colon at the end and it's getting going, right? So now, if I wanted to tell it to do things, I could say open gripper go to position. I don't have any entered, but I'll just say go to position one, go to position two, go to position three, close the gripper, all right? And then let's just pretend that I want it to go back to uh, go to position eight. I want it to open the gripper because we're pretending to drop something off. And I'm double clicking to enter these commands. Right? And now what I want it to do is I want it to go back again and run the program again. All right? So as, remember I said that I only want to click run single cycle. So here at the bottom line, I'm going to double click to do jump to. Now you see here I'm in level one. So this is grayed out and it's going to say jump 
here and I want to jump to type the name of a label here so and I have to type it just like I typed it before so getting underscore going and I click OK so now when I run this run single cycle I click on the top line click run single cycle now I'm getting an error because it says invalid position number one but what would happen is is I I'm going to run these and just go ahead and so if I were right here and say open gripper now I continue running All right you'll see that it, what it did was it did jump to getting going and it jumped back to the top all right so sorry I didn't actually teach any positions you'll see you can see right here I'm offline I'm not actually connected to a robot right now so or a controller so I hope this helps um, you understand the uses of jumps and labels